Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play. Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Alright, so let's continue on uh, to getting through Aqua's story. Um, let's go. Let's go here. Well, there's the evil witch. <laughs> Don't eat that! Don't! She ate it. Wait, no. No, don't! Well. <laughs> you bitch. Well, that sucks. Hmm? It's the dwarves. What has happened here? Poor Snow White. <laughs> she was just as sweet as could be. She sang us pretty songs and made us smile. At bedtime, she told wonderful stories about falling in love with the prince she met. And when we went to work, she gave us all a kiss. She was so full of kindness. Why, she made better folk of all of us. From what you've said, she must have been very loved. But how did this happen to her? A wicked queen was horribly jealous of our dear Snow White's beauty. So she used her evil magic to change into an old hag. Then she gave Snow White a poisoned apple. And by the time we got here, well, it was just too late. We found the princess as still as can be. Nothing we could do but wake her. Isn't there some way we can help her? Well, not unless somebody craves the vessel, I'll brave the castle. No, you fools can stay here doing nothing. But I'm not a fear to going, not even to that witch's lair. You'll never make it. The castle's supposed to be guarded by magic and crawling with monsters. Hmm. You mean the Unverse? All right, then I'll go. You will? I will. Leave it to me. Well, all right, my dear. We'd be much obliged. All right, here we are. Oh, well, there's the prince. Is something wrong? This castle, it's different somehow. And I can't find the princess or hear her beautiful voice. Was it all a dream? Wait, you mean you know Snow White? Oh, yes, we met once. It was a song that drew us together. Has something happened to the princess? Yes, I'm afraid so. The wicked queen tricked her into eating a poisoned apple. I must go to her. Where is she? In the woods, guarded by seven kind dwarves. I will find her. Perhaps there's a way I can help. Well, here we are. Something's not right. Like what? Oh. Oh no. Not again. That doesn't make sense. Well, here we go again. Ugh. Let's do this. Oh, come on. Oh. Uh. Yeah, time, time. Go. Gotcha. Oh. 
<laughs> well, that was easy. Only because fucking I'm level 32. And with that, we're done with Snow White's will. The queen is gone, my service done. Adieu, O oh, victorious one. Yeah, I want to know why you were battling us. Like, why? That made no sense. Well, just like in the movie. Why won't you wake up? Every waking is a new journey. Maybe Vent left because it was his time. What's that? I think I'd better go take a look inside. There's no way Tara would hurt somebody like that. Well, there's Ventus. You don't believe me? And he Maleficent. For he agreed so easily. He did? Ben, don't be fooled! Aqua! Tara would never do that. You know that as well as I do. Yeah. Ah. The truth can be most cruel, even amongst the closest of friends. After all, one never knows the secrets of another's heart. I'm sure you'll agree, Ventus. Aqua. The Master sent me. Huh? Then, let's go home. But Terra... Terra's not ready to leave yet. Sorry, Aqua, but 
I can't go with you. What? It's just... I have to find him before it's too late. Then I see you too wield a Keyblade. How do you know about the Keyblade? A source of power. A key that opens the hearts of men, of entire worlds, and allows one to obtain anything and everything. Such a power I find most fascinating. So, Terra... He really? Yes. Now, my dear, would you like to assist me as well? Never! I see. Xehanort was right. You are a most stubborn girl. Master Xehanort, how do you... It seems you need time to consider my offer. Fortunately, I have the perfect place. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well. Go ahead. In a dungeon. Of course. Who are you? My name is Aqua. It looks like I was caught in a trap. Why are you here? To prevent me from breaking her evil curse, I was to meet the most beautiful girl at a cottage in the Glen. But now my true love lies in an eternal slumber, and only I can break the spell. You must really love her. Is what you said true? Yes. Maleficent told me. Oh, Prince Philip, it's you! Now, Philip, the road to true love may be barred by many more dangers, which you alone will have to face. I'm going with you. There's something I need to know, and Maleficent has the answer. Yes, of course, dear. And it's about saying, though. Now, come along. We must hurry to Aurora. Oh no. Ah, ah! Damn it. Here we go. Fucking Princess Aurora is. Yeah, there seems to be uh, no unversed for some reason. Yeah. Uh, 
Um, seriously? the castle. Uh oh. Uh, the forest of thorns shall be your tomb. Wound round the castle in a bower of doom. What did Master Xehanort tell you? Such a pity, child, that you don't have Terra's gift for obedience. Nor can you see how easy it was for him. Terra would never do anything to help you. Quite the contrary. He fully embraced the darkness within himself. Stop lying! See for yourself all the powers of hell! Uh oh. <laughs> Dragon Maleficent. Here we go. Hey, Maleficent. How's it feel, bitch? It's the power of true love that defeated you. I will not be defeated by something as insignificant as love. You don't even know the first thing about it. You're too clouded by darkness to see that there's something greater.
try all you want, but you'll never defeat a heart filled with light. Perhaps. But remember one thing. As long as there is light, there will be darkness. And in time, many more will be drawn to it. Then they will all belong to me! <laughs> Tara, you better stay strong for me. Excuse me. I'm terribly sorry to bother you, sir. Oh, <laughs> what a well-mannered lass you are. Uh, I'd be pleased as punch to help you, if I can. I'm looking for a boy who's not from around here. Have you seen him? Hmm, I think I know just who you're talking about. He scampered off toward yon castle in a right hurry. Thank you so much. Oh. Tara, I hope you're still there. <laughs> no! Oh, great. Run! Oh, well, hello, Kyrie. I can feel the light. No way I can fight like this. Hey, Mickey. Hurry! You gotta get that girl to some place that's safe. Who are you? Why do you have a keyblade? I'll tell you later. Right now we gotta stop these things. Thank you. My name is Aqua. I train under Master Ericus. And I'm Mickey. 
I used to be Yen Sid's apprentice. I came back to him for some more training. I sense light within this girl. You think that's why they attacked her? Yep. I think you might be absolutely right. If you ask me, she must be somebody pretty extraordinary. Yes. I'm quite certain she's someone we're supposed to protect. Let's join forces! Oh no! Not now! Oh well. I'll be okay! <laughs> Bye, Mickey! See you real soon! <gasps> Here! Are these for me? I picked you some flowers. Thank you for saving me. Oh, they're lovely. You're so sweet. My name's Kairi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I'm Aqua. Kairi, about that light. Kairi! Oh. oh, Grandma! Wait, Kairi, just a minute. <sighs> I just cast a magic spell on you. One day, when you're in trouble, the light within you will lead you to the light of another. Someone to keep you safe. Thanks! <laughs> there you are. <laughs> it's time to go. Okay. Oh. <sighs> Bye! <laughs> hey, Grandma? Hmm? What is it? Could you tell me that story? <laughs> Again, dear? Please. <laughs> Very well, then. <laughs> Long ago, people lived in peace, bathed in the warmth of light. Everyone loved the light. Then, people began to fight over it. They wanted to keep it for themselves, and darkness was born in their hearts. The darkness spread, swallowing the light in many people's hearts. It covered everything, and the world disappeared. But small fragments of light survived in the hearts of children. With these fragments of light, children rebuilt the lost world. It's the world we live in now. But the true light sleeps deep within the darkness. That's why the worlds are still scattered, divided from each other. But someday, a door to the innermost darkness will open, and the true light will return. So listen, child, even in the deepest darkness, there will always be a light to guide you. Believe in the light, and the darkness will never defeat you. Your heart will shine with its power and push the darkness away. Mm -hmm. Kyrie, something tells me I didn't run into her by accident. On oh, first, well, it never ends. here we go. Uh, wait, where's up? 
What do you want? Oh well. Oh my god. I'm showing this a little bit off. It was the same cutscene, but I'm showing this because it's a little bit more from Aqua's story. Tara. Then. Oh, just as I said it would happen, here's the third one. That book is almost more trouble than it's worth. <sighs> Say no more. The book you need to awaken the powers within you is just inside. Read to your heart's content, my dear. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not going for the book. I'm the third? Terra and Ventus were here? But I'm not going for the book. I'm going for the boss. And look who it is. Hello, Vadidas. A mask? You're the boy that Ventus mentioned. Ah, yes. Ventus. Tell me something. Has he learned to put up a decent fight yet? What do you mean? I'll be asking the questions. And why shouldn't I? After all... Between the two of us, I'm the only one who will walk away from here alive. Guess again! Oh god. Here we go. Who are you? <laughs> well, <laughs> should have seen that coming. Not bad at all. Congratulations. I'll keep you around. Never hurts to have a backup. I have to stop him before anything else happens to Terra and Ven. Aqua! Alright. I'm skipping that because it's the same as, um, for Ventus. Where Aqua tells Ventus to go home and Ventus questions why they won't, why she won't let him battle against the Unverse and Vanitas. 
Alright, so next time on Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Breath by Sleep, we're gonna continue the rest of Aqua's story.